Hey everyone, this is Parko Sutar, and today we'll learn about what is a chain, what is an anti-chain, uh, what is a maximal element, and what is a minimal element. And we will discuss some of the examples, and we'll uh, see how to find a chain, anti-chain, what is a maximal element, and how to find a minimal element. Okay. So first, uh, let us understand what is a chain and what is an anti-chain. So let A less than or equals to be a partially ordered set. So in short, we know that what is this partially ordered set? It is a poset. Okay. And what is a poset? It is a set having the relation, partially ordered relation. And what is a partially ordered relation? So that is a relation has to be a reflexive and anti-symmetric and transitive. So a subset of A is called a chain if every two elements in the subsets are related. Fine. Now the number of elements in a chain is called the length of the chain. Uh, now see, uh, a subset of A is called an anti-chain if no two distinct elements in the subsets are related so in short that means if uh, they are not related so it uh, that means it is an anti chain now a partially ordered set this a less than or equals to is called a totally ordered set or linearly ordered set or simple ordered set if this whole a is a chain now, for example uh, you consider this haze diagram we know how to construct a haze diagram so consider this haze diagram now let capital a the set is given that is the set a b and uh, the post set is given that is p of a now what is p of a that is power set of a so power set of this a b fine and the relation is given that is the subset relation so b a post set then see you can consider uh, this phi a and a b so phi a and a b that is a chain why because they are connected or they are related so why because see phi is a subset of a and A is a subset of AB. So all these are related. So that means it is a chain. Now in same manner, so many chains will be there. So you yeah, just consider this A and AB. So that is also a chain and it is the smallest chain having uh, two elements. Fine. Uh, then see this phi and A, that is also a chain. In same manner phi and B, that is also a chain. In same manner phi, B and AB, that is also a chain. Now can you give me the example of uh, an anti chain? So yes, yes, uh, there is an anti-chain in this example. So consider this A, B. So this A and B, it is an anti-chain because they are not connected or they are not related. Now, uh, let us discuss an example. The question is, draw the haze diagram of the following sets under partial order relation that is divides and indicate those which are chains. Fine. So the set is given that is 1, 3, 9, 18 and the second set is given 3, 5, 30. Okay, and the relation that uh, that is provided that is the divide relation. So uh, just consider the first uh, uh, set that is 1, 3, 9 and 18. So uh, we will write first the relation. So this will be the relation. How? Okay, let us understand. Now see, uh, it is the device relation. So 1, 3, 9 and 18. Now uh, each and every number divides itself. So 1, 1, 3, 3, 9, 9 and 18, 18. This many pairs will be there. Now then, this uh, 1 divides each and every number. So 1, 3, 1, 9 and 1, 18. This pairs will be there. Now then, 3 divides 9 as well as 3 divides 18. So 3, 9, 3, 18 pair will be there. And last, 9, 18 pair will be there. So this is how you can write a relation. So the relation is done. Now this is the R. So first we will insert a diagraph and then we will find the his diagram. Okay. So for diagraph, just draw all these points. That is 1, 3, 9 and 18 fine now as every number is related to itself that means every number divides itself so there will be self loops so that means 1 is related to 1 9 is related to 9 18 is related to 18 and 3 is related to 3 uh, 3 is related to 3 now just uh, 1 now 1 is related to each and every number so there will be this 1 3 then 1 9 and 1 18 fine so this edges will be there now for 3 now 3 is related to which number? 3 is related to 9 as well as 18. So this 3, 9 and 3, 18 will be there. Fine. Now then next uh, 9. Now 9 is related to 18. So this will be the final diagram. Okay. Now uh, see uh, what will be the Hayes diagram. We all know what is uh, Hayes diagram. Fine. And how to construct a Hayes diagram. So just uh, let us take 4 points as 1, 3, 9 and 18. Uh, now in Hayes diagram the uh, self loops won't be there. So that means this uh, this four self loops won't be there. Now uh, just consider this 
Now one and three. Now is it a transitive edge? So no, it is not a transitive edge. So that means one three pair will be there. So that means this one three edge will be there. Now one and nine. Now can we put some number in between one and nine such that it becomes a transitive uh, edge? So yes, uh, we can put because see one is related to three and three is related to nine. So this edge won't be there. Now in same manner, this three nine will be there and nine eighteen will be there. So in case you don't know how to construct a uh, diagram, you can uh, check for the previous videos because in that videos, we have thoroughly discussed all this. Okay, fine. So this will be the haze diagram. Now this uh, post set, it is a chain. Why? Because you can see that here, every two elements are related. So as you can see that one is related to three and three is related to nine and nine is related to 18. So all are uh, related. So that means it is a chain now uh, and also, it is a totally ordered or linearly ordered set as well because everything are related. So fine. So these are the chain. Now let us discuss second example that is for the second set. So B equals to 3, 5 and 30. Fine. So the relation will be what? Now uh, as you can see that uh, the relation is it, it is the divides relation. Now all the numbers are related to itself that means all the numbers divides itself. So that means 3, 3, 5, 5, 30, 30. These pairs will be there. Now just fix 3. Now 3 divides 30. So 330. Then 5 divides 30. So 530. And that's it. So this 5 ordered pairs will be there. Fine. Now we will again construct a diagraph. Now for diagraph, just consider this uh, 3 points. That is 3, 5 and 30. Now uh, all are related to itself. That means all divides. Uh, you know, each and every number divides itself. So there will be self loops. That means 3 is related to 3. 30 is related to 30 and 5 is related to 5. Okay, now for 3. Now 3 divides which numbers? 3 divides 30. So 3, 30 uh, edge will be there and last 530. So 530 edge will be there. So this is how you can draw a diagram. Now for the haze diagram. Just uh, fix all these numbers that is 5, 3 and 30. Fine. Now in haze diagram, we know that the self loops won't be there. So that means these self loops won't be there. And last, uh, uh, it is very obvious and there is no transitive edges. So it is just simple 330 and 530. So this will be the case diagram. Uh, it is very simple. Now see what are the chains and what are the anti chains. Now as you can see that this 5 and 30 are related and 3 and 30 are related. So that means this set and this set, they are the chains. And here we have an anti chain. And what is that? So as you can see that this 5 and 3, they are not related. So that means it is an anti chain. Now uh, let us discuss what is a maximal and what is a minimal element and how to find it. So let capital A be a non-empty set and this less than or equals to B a partial ordered relation on A. So uh, in short let us consider this A less than or equals to B a post set. Fine. Now an element A belongs to A is called a maximal element of A. If there is no other element C in the given set A such so that this a is less than uh, this a is less than c fine now in same manner what is the minimal element so an element b belongs to a is called a minimal element of uh, the given set a if there is no element c in a such so that the c is less than b okay so we will uh, explain this by using example fine now let us discuss examples now consider this image okay so what will be the maximal elements? Now see, uh, just by looking at this, what are the maximal? That means, so what are the elements that are on top? So as you can see that this A1, A2 and A3, they are on top. So that means uh, they are the maximal elements. And in same manner, what are uh, in the bottom part? So B1, B2 and B3. So they are the minimal elements. So B1, B2, B3, it is the minimal elements. Now consider case diagram, fine. So uh, uh, as you can see that what will be the maximal elements now what are the elements or what are the vertices they are on the top so it is very clear uh, that means this f and g they are the maximal elements and what are in the lower part okay so a b and c they are the minimal elements so it is very easy thank you